fall is here. They're doing my leaves. Look at all that. That's autumn, bro. That's autumn. Man, look at that mosquito, though. Dressed like a bird. So, I'm pretty sure when I, when I walked up to the car, I'm pretty sure that mosquito was reading. And when it saw me, it got quiet. But I'm sure when I left, it was reading again. I think his name was Roger. I think I've seen him before. I don't know. So you know what I love to see when I'm driving? Um, women in high-powered cars. <laughs> I love it. I think it is one of the dopest things ever. I, um, I always just, you know, I'm just in awe by it. Um, because, you know, a lot of times, this isn't even to, like, be sexist or anything. It's just, the, 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 you know, the cars, a lot of times you see women in, they're always, like, the smaller, uh, cuter vehicles. And when you see, um, a female just, just commanding, just a monster of a car or, or vehicle, it is just extremely impressive. I once, I saw a woman, she was driving a BMW Z8. Now, if you know about that car, for one, it was a limited run. They don't make them anymore. It was the, the, the highest, it was the peak of the Z series, the most expensive. I, I'm pretty sure James Bond drove it at, at one point or another. It was, it was sick. And I, when I saw her driving it, I was just, woo! You know, and she looked good driving it. And it's a stick, you know what I mean? I um, I just saw a female driving the uh, Stingray Corvette, top down. Whew. Dope. Very, very. It was uh, it was black with red, red stripes on the hood. <sighs> that's a winner right there. That's. That's all, that's all, that's all winter juice right there. I've seen females driving GTRs, you know what I mean? Like these are powerful, powerful cars and, and the way they drive them, you know, you can tell like they grew up with brothers or they were just, they were just really cool females to be around. Those are the type, those are some of the best females in my opinion. Those are the most fun. The ones who, you know, they can put on a dress and they can do all that stuff, but they can also, you know, they have skills, they have other skills. And driving a stick is is a skill, you know what I mean? My aunt, she used to drive massive SUVs, huge, huge SUVs. And she would drive them like they were Mini Coopers. You know, they were enormous trucks, like Suburbans and Hummers and uh, Expeditions. And, you know, you would never notice that they were that big when you were inside because the way she maneuvered them. It was impressive. We need more females driving exotics. I want to see a female behind the wheel of a Lamborghini. And a and some ferraris and not just the california because i'm pretty sure that one was marketed more towards females not just the california ferrari california but like the uh italia let's see a female driving a bugatti um shout out danica patrick yeah, race car, uh, NASCAR. Yeah. Women can do it. I believe in you guys. Or gals. I believe in you gals. <laughs> you can do it. So, let's do it. You know what I mean? I was just 
thinking about when I was young, I, I just noticed that um, school bus back there. And I was just thinking about how seating on the school bus depicted cool factor. <laughs> um, in like middle school, high school. Like no matter where your stop was, no matter when you actually got on the bus, the further back you sat, the cooler you were. <laughs> so you could be the last stop. Gotta sit in the back, man. You know, if you're the first stop, it's easy to sit in the back. You just go right to the back. When you're like that last stop, if you if you're you're cool, you want to be cool. You gotta find a way to finagle your way back there, man. And I just that always like tickled me. You know what I mean? Um, people hate sitting on the back of planes. You know what I mean? And it's wild um, that that was like our mindset. You know, to sit on the back of the bus. It's, it's a deeper, it's a deeper thought. Um, Cause you figure, you go back to 60s. Um, we fought not to sit on the back of the bus. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then, you know, it switches and that's where the cool kids sit, back of the bus. Just interesting how uh, things change over time. And now, as, I, as I'm older, um, I mean, when I do get on the bus now, it's like tour buses when I like go on tours or whatever like that. Um, not like I'm touring when I go on like scenic tours. <laughs> um, I want to sit near the front so I can be first off. You know what I mean? So it's just different things, you know. Things just change over time, man. And that school bus just reminded me of that. I remember uh, how it used to be hard. For me. You know, I had like one of those like later stops. And it was hard for me to get to the back. So I always ended up in the in the middle. Or the front, depending on, you know, when I was able to actually get on the bus. And, um, I guess I wasn't that cool. I'm not that cool now. So whatever. I'm fine with sitting in the front now. Now, man. What we got here. Packages. On top of packages. See what we got. Hope I don't cut anything vital, like a finger. Like that. MJ edition. Yeah, I'm about to be the story. Tongue that out. Fake. They gave me a fake one. That's not MJ. I don't know who that guy is. Is that Travi Williams? <laughs> so, you guys can catch me on Xbox Live. See me with the sticks. I don't know what team I'm going to play with yet, though. Um, everybody knows my team is the Lakers, but I, I've never actually played with them in video games. Yeah, so I have no idea who I'm going to play with this year. Um, I try to stay away from the uh, the cheesy teams. 
whatever team LeBron is on. But, you know, I, I do like the Warriors, like OKC. Um, I think it'll be really fun to play with Minnesota this year. I think it'll be just a blast playing with them. Who is that? Fives. Air Jordan 5. You got to catch my Xbox Live. I'll drop my uh my live name below. I'll drop my live name below. Dick.